Hello friends, welcome to the session on introduction to PLC wiring. In our earlier session, we have seen about uh, NO, NC, timer, counter, output coil and how to generate the logic inside the PLC programming. Now in this session, we are going to cover about how to wire the PLC in syncing and sourcing mode. Okay. Once you want to, because when you know the software part of the PLC, then you should also know how to wire the PLC, then only you can get the work done from the PLC. So you have to wire, you have to connect the inputs and output to the PLC and then only you can get the work done. So in this session, we will see what is syncing sourcing logic like what is syncing input, what is syncing output, what is sourcing input, what is sourcing output and how to connect the field device to the syncing, sourcing and different kinds of PLC. Okay, so what is syncing logic? Syncing is a wiring arrangement in which the I.O. device provides current to the I.O. module. Means the current will be provided from the I.O. device and PLC will take the current. So it is called PLC is wired in a syncing manner. What is source logic? Source logic is a wiring arrangement in which the I.O. module provides current to the field device. Means PLC will provide current. So then this, call, this is called the sourcing logic. Now we will see what is sync input and how to wire the sync input. In sync input mode, this is a PLC, this input is a sensing, means input syncing. So the common should be connected to the ground and you have to provide external VCC. Means the current has to be gone from power supply and the PLC will take the current. So it is PLC is, is called, it is wired in a syncing input manner. Now what is sourcing input manner? Now in sourcing input common will be VCC and the negative will be provided from external and whenever you press the button the input will be provided as a ground will be provided from the external thing and the path will complete. So this is called a sourcing input manner. Now what is syncing output? So here this is a PLC. Okay. So when you are connecting as a syncing output PLC, the common will be again uh, ground and the output is connected to the load and that is connected to the VCC of the power supply. Okay. So whenever the output, uh, this is syncing, so common is ground. So whenever load, it will conduct whatever field device or whatever it will conduct, the PLC will take current from the output device and this is called a syncing output manner. And this is a sourcing output. So here you can see that PLC is there and PLC output, output IO, uh, input output of the output, output is connected to the load means field device and that is connected to the ground and the common is VCC. So whenever load will act or you have to give the command to the load, this VCC supply will go from here to the output switch and the load will start acting load will start conducting it can be bulb it can be footer buzzer whatever is there so the vcc will provide it from here to the load and the ps uh, load will act as per the program so this is called a sourcing output manner so you have to see this is a thumb rule or you can take the uh, write it down in a uh, single line that okay whenever there is a sinking we have to you have to wire a plc in a sinking manner it can be syncing input or syncing output. You have to provide the common ground to the PLC. Okay, the PLC will be connected as a common ground. So whatever all the common points will be connected to the ground. And whenever you say the PLC has to be wired in a sourcing manner, you have to connect all the common points to the VCC. You have to tie down all the common points to the VCC, and your PLC will be tied up or you have, you have configured in a manner of sourcing okay so this is a common fundamental like sourcing means common vcc and syncing means common ground it can be input or output now wiring an input syncing plc with output sourcing field device means field device is a sourcing and plc input is a syncing so this is providing vcc so you have to provide common ground to the plc very simple and when there is an input sourcing plc and 
free device should be syncing mode then you have to provide common vcc to the plc and the free device will be syncing so from here it will conduct it will go to the free device and this will be like whatever the uh, signal will come from the output this will come as a, if it is a ground then only this common point is vcc and the path will complete so plc will take the input now wiring an output syncing plc with input sourcing field device means plc output is a syncing means plc output will give a ground that time this will conduct so your field device output is kind of field device ground has to be connected to the common of the plc means common ground will be there and the output is syncing so whenever it will source it will sync and the path will be completed and then you can take a output from the plc So see if output and input both are syncing. Suppose your field device is also a syncing device, and your output is also a syncing device. Then how you will configure? So in this example, we can connect a PLC DC output point to the syncing input of a field device. This is a bit tricky because both the PLC output and field device input are syncing type. Since the circuit must have one sourcing and one syncing to conduct, we add sourcing capability to the PLC output. Means, though PLC is a syncing output, PLC we have to add a sourcing capability to the PLC output by using a pull-up resistor. So, how to do that? We will see over here. So, see, this is a PLC DC output. Okay, this is your output point. So, you have to connect R pull-up means. You have to pull, uh, connect a pull-up resistor to the power of the PLC, and the common will be again ground. Input is also syncing, output is also syncing. So whenever this will be conducted, means output is there, so it will be provided ground. And that time, this VCC, as we have pulled up uh, the output, VCC will go to the syncing of the syncing input field device, and the device will conduct. So here in this case, both output of the PLC and the in output of the field device both are syncing. Okay. Now classification of the PLC. When you go to the market, you uh, to buy the PLC, there are different kinds of a PLC available. So it can be classified by power supply. And by uh, PLC can be AC power supply uh, uh, PLCs as well as the DC power supply PLCs. Okay, so it can be 230 volt AC or PLCs are available like 12 or 24 volt DC power supply PLCs. Okay, it can be classified by input and output as we have discussed. It can be input syncing and output syncing PLC. It can be input syncing and output sourcing PLC. Can be input sourcing and output sync PLC. It can be input source as well as output source PLC. So while ordering, you have to take care about the thing that how input and outputs are wired. Other thing is that which I have not mentioned in this slide. It can be relay output PLC or transistorized output PLC. So that also is one of the classified uh, classification of the PLC. In the relay PLC, you can connect input as well as output in syncing or sourcing mode but in transistorized module input of the plc can be uh, configured in syncing as well as sourcing mode but the output of plc is always fixed means when you purchase you have to mention that i want output syncing or i want output sourcing plc while the doing the selection of the plc or ordering the plc now classification of the PLC by I/O module means you want discrete I/O system means only digital zero and one discrete I/O system or you want analog I/O system means you want analog input and analog output for your application or not. Now PLC can be classified by application ranges also, like as per your application requirement, as per your application requires the inputs and output number of inputs and output you can select the PLC. Suppose if your requirement is only uh, uh, very small like the 10 input 10 output or 10 input 12 output or something like that is a very small requirement if we are talking 
and you can go for micro PLCs which can control up to 32 input output devices. If your requirement goes on increasing, you can go for small PLCs which can control up to 128 I.O. Then you can go for medium PLCs if requirements again increases and input output requirement is very high then you can go for 1024 I.O. PLC, medium PLCs. You can even go for large PLCs which can control up to 4096 I.O. And suppose it is a very big requirement is the factory automation and all, you require a very large PLCs which can control up to 8192 I.O. also. So basically you can uh, go for uh, PLC selection as per your requirement of input and output. Now, you can see over here, I have wired a one training kit. Okay, this is a training kit with the Allen Bradley PLC. So you can see over here, that all the common points, this black wire is basically a common required uh, to the PLCs. So I have wired input is in syncing mode. So I have done all the common points tied up to ground. Okay. So this ground is coming as a common over here. So this is a common ground. So these inputs, all the inputs are in syncing mode. And here you can see at the output side, uh, side I have wired uh, all the outputs as a sourcing output. So I have connected all the uh, VCC, uh, uh, all the common points to the VCC. Means I have given the supply to the uh, uh, all the common points. So these outputs are all is wired in a source mode and inputs are all wired in a sync mode. When I press the button, the external supply will go to the PLC input and it will conduct and then whenever the, it will be uh, turning on the output that time the VCC will come out from the output and then it will go to the LEDs and the LED will turn on. This LEDs I have just kept as a no, uh, just to uh, test the inputs and output. You can even connect from here, you can connect the motors, you can connect the hooters, you can connect the buzzer, whatever as per requirement, this, like this we are connecting the PLC. You can even connect the analog inputs uh, to the PLC and then you can take the output from the analog output terminal. So these are we do the wiring of the analog terminals. Thank you. Now next tutorial, uh, we are going to learn introduction to ladder programming using software. Like we have different brands of PHCs like Omron, Allen Bradley, Mitsubishi, Delta, Siemens, ABB, different brands of PLCs are available. So every PLC is having their own programming environment. Every brand is having their own programming.